So here's the various hammers you'll be using in probably most of the trades. You got, let's start with this side. You use more or less this for more of a trim hammer. It's got a smooth face, not too heavy, bulky. You can do more precise, small taps with it if you're, you know, just setting a small trim nail to insetting it with a little uh, punch. You got this one, probably more of a concrete hammer, more for just breaking up stuff. It has claws, but they're not separated, just for more for chipping. It needs to be more a uh, lot stronger. You got your basic sledgehammer. You know, you'll be hammering in stakes with this or chasing kids off your front porch, whatever you decide to want it to use it for. <laughs> so this is your framing hammer. This is your 22 ounce uh, Milwaukee framing hammer. So if you notice, there is a notch up on the top, which your smaller hammers do not have. This right here is a little magnet and there's a little plate right there. This is actually for being able to stick a nail on. Say you need to smack a nail into something and you only have one hand or you can't reach with both hands and you need to just, you know, smack it, hit it into some wood, it'll leave the nail there and then you can continue, you know, pounding it in. Um, you got your, so this hammer versus this hammer, you got straight claws versus curved claws. Your straight claws are actually gonna be able to pull out some of these bigger three, four inch nails. You get more leverage, you got a longer handle. You got a hammer like this. This is your typical roofing hammer. You know, you can, for tiling, you can obviously, you got a, a, a head on there for pounding in nails and you got this side, if you need to do some chipping to make a make a cut on a tile that is just, you know, a quick cut, just do a little few chips, smack it off. The one thing on a lot of hammers is they'll come with waffles and it's on the, t on the head. It's made so that when you're hammering in nails, you can actually like, if you're hitting at an angle, it'll grip the nail head better. A lot of guys end up grinding off most of the waffles. You'll find it's a really, when after you've smashed your thumb a few times that having no waffles or you know, at least just somewhat smooth waffles on the end are a little bit nicer on your thumbs. It'll take some serious skin off, you know, if you accidentally do the old uh, hammer to the thumb. 